Since 2013, TerraTech is cooperating with the Chaldean Church in Kirkuk in the north of Iran. The aim of the joint project is to provide support to families that were escaping from armed conflict. Most of these refugees came from areas in and around the city of Mosul. As Dr. Yusuf Thomas Mirkis, the Archbishop of the Chaldean Church in Kirkuk and Sulaymaniyah, describes, there was a very specific target group among the refugees. Many students were forced to leave their mother universities in Mosul, looking for an opportunity to continue the studies in Kirkuk. So uh, the first wave uh, were uh, 142 persons who came to validate the academic year 13-14. Uh, uh, the question was how to find uh, where to live because Kirkuk uh, has at this time one million and a half inhabitants. Uh, now it is about two million uh, two hundred thousand fifty. So seven seven hundred fifty thousand are refugees. Talking to these young people, one can quickly discover heartbreaking stories behind the smiling faces. Many students have experienced horrible situations themselves. I escaped from the area in the morning, actually, in the 3 a.m. at night, walking with my mother. It was hard <laughs> to walk, almost 20 miles for, for, uh, for six hours alone, me and my mother. Uh, before the day of, uh, of uh, my, uh, my lecture, uh, liberation, um, there was uh, about two, uh, uh, one and a half a month, the food uh, was not available for all the people. Uh, the vegetable uh, not found in the city, the whole city. Uh, and the last day we just have onion and potatoes. We fried potatoes every day for dinner. When Islamic State in Iraq Hashem come to Mosul, I leave Mosul. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Sure. Yeah, of course. Because uh, I am Yazidian and genocide was happened to Yazidian. Even approximately 15,000 one was killed. I can't go to Mosul now because it's full of members of ISIS. Since the beginning of the project in 2013, there are more and more young people asking for support. This shows the necessity of the help as well as the success of the concept. They became 400 in 15-16. So I, uh, then uh, this year there are 700. Uh, Christian, Muslim, Yazidi, Mandians. In the students' accommodations, there are young people of various religious backgrounds. However, faith is not a dividing factor. Or as one student describes, religion is like a pair of shoes that stays on the doorsteps. This is our, uh, our law, our uh, decision. Uh, no problem. We are we are different from the Iraqi population. We don't care about your difference. You are here to study. The, the important thing for me was to, to provide uh, uh, houses, feeding, uh, uh, especially electricity. Electricity is very expensive. So I, I decided to, to organize the welcoming. In total, there are 11 houses that serve as student accommodations. Each building houses up to 30 young people. Since the students live in the houses in shifting system, currently 380 girls and 300 boys can be supported. I uh, live uh, here uh, as uh, sisters with uh, my friends here and uh, we share everything like uh, food, uh, drinking and uh, going to uh, college, everything, uh, we feel like family. I am living with 24 uh, students uh, and it is my best, it is uh, my best student in the house. I am studying every day and uh, I am uh, go to the college four days from the weekend. The life in the houses is organized very independently. 
The students are responsible on their own for cleaning and cooking. Especially for the boys, this was a bit hard in the beginning, since it breaks up traditional role models. I felt it was a little bit uh, hard, uh, as uh, we all boys live in, our, in one house. Uh, we so it's a little bit hard from how we can cook, who can cook, who can clean, who can uh, manage uh, all these things. Yeah, uh, and they support us for everything: refrigerator, freezer, oven, microwave, even the spoon. From the spoon to the huge refrigerator. The young people are drawn to various fields of studies. Medicine, architecture, chemistry and engineering are among the most common topics. Secure housing and the provision of food and all basic needs helps the students to focus on their studies. This is why I got all those years 100% of success. And this is my, my best uh, reward. I graduated last year from uh, Muslim Medical College and now I am working in Kirkuk General Hospital, in the pediatric rooms. Mm -hmm. The concept of the project serves two main ideas. First, the opportunity to continue the studies offers the students a perspective. Instead of leaving the area for an undetermined future as refugees in other countries, they can work on completing their education. Well-trained young people will build the foundation to rebuild the country after the armed conflict is settled. So uh, this project is, uh, is good for the future of Iraq. Uh, uh, those young, uh, they are not losing their time waiting to uh, uh, a better time for uh, the situation of Iraq, but uh, they are becoming uh, the generation who will maybe save Iraq uh, from uh, those problems, the future will be better than our present. Uh, I want uh, to complete my uh, mm -hmm. studying. I want to be a doctor in engineering mm -hmm. computer. No, I uh, aim to complete my education in my mother uh, university, Mosul. I see myself in my country. No, the future of Iraq is now is undetermined, actually. But in the future, I mean, we hope to get better and complete our studies more and more. We hope that. If the situation of Mosul get better, I will return to Mosul, but I will go and, and, and come to Kirkuk, between Kirkuk and Mosul. I can't leave Kirkuk because the diocese and Mr. Imad Mati Abu Duray, they are alternative fathers. Talking to the young students, one can realize that they are not only proud of their achievements, but also very grateful for all the support they got. I think I uh, thank everyone that uh, can give us anything. It means a lot to us. Mean a lot to us.